Article 13 is pertaining to income, which income interest earned, right? So that's the reason why we started with the solution and Schedule 14 is concerned with other incomes. So what is the core banking activity of the bank that is earning money through interest, right? Then what is the uh, secondary banking activity that is other incomes, other activities such as agency services. So that's the reason why Schedule 13 pertaining to interest earned Schedule 14 belongs to other incomes. So first item interest and discount that in the sense the bank has received interest and bank has received income through discount while discounting the bills. So bills, bills of exchange concept you are aware. So discounting concept is there. So for discounting of bills, the banker will charge commission. So that is a schedule 13 item because it is an interest earned. Therefore, I have written schedule 13. Then interest on balance with RBI. We kept certain amount in the bank, uh, in the RBI, from where we will be getting the interest. That income is a schedule 13, income, 13 uh, item that is interest and earned, right? Interest on balance with RBI. In the same amount of written schedule 13 whereas the next item income and investment this is also schedule 13 item because the investment is the core banking activity of the bank as it will be taken in schedule 13 as the income right profit on exchange transaction so profit on exchange transaction is pertaining to pertaining to other incomes it's not a interest earned so hence it will be taken in schedule 14 with the amount right then profit on sale of investment Right, profit and sale of investment is given 270. Whereas, if you see the last item, loss and sale of investment is also there. So, this loss should be reduced from the profit. This profit and sale of investment is 270 minus loss. We need to deduct how much is 50. So, any item written in bracket is called as negative item. So, therefore, it will be how much uh, 220. Suppose if 270 positive, 300 is negative, then we would have written 30 negative item outer column right so it will be adjusted from the overall balance so like that next commission exchange and brokerage is schedule 14 other incomes right? and profit on broke profit on sale of land and building is also other income that we have written that is 840 so once this is done we need to make the summation of both so first summation we made schedule 13 that is 10920 answer and schedule 15, 14 total is 3310. And always bear in mind we are writing three zeros omitted here. This is very important. So 730 is refers to 730,000, it means. So here also you check three zeros omitted. 30 is refers to 30,000. I have eliminated the three zeros of the last. Right? This is the procedure prescribed by the format of the banking regulation of 1949 for preparation of bank accounts. Right? This is question number one we have already done go through the question number two we have already done this schedule 15 and 16 we need to prepare right so when you talk about schedule 15 is interest expended schedule 16 is interest sorry operating expenses right so all the expenses pertaining to operational activities of the bank will come in the schedule 16 whereas interest expended the uh, expenditure pertaining to payment of interest on deposits and various Deposits taken from various banks or other institutions are general public. That will be paid. So that will be an expenditure, right? In that way, payment and provision for employees is Schedule 16 item. Then printing and stationery, Schedule 16 item. As I have operating expenses, depreciation on banks property, Schedule, schedule 16 item. Director's fee allowances, 16 item. Repairs and maintenance is 16 item. Then uh, rent and taxes. Is 16 item this 1020 interest on deposit is schedule 15 item interest on deposit we are making the payment is 4650 the interest on RBI and interbank balance 1520 right? and auditors fee and expenses 120 right so these are the totals that is schedule 16 item so I made the total 15 16 we made. so the summations we have got once this is done schedule 15 and 6 come to the third question the fourth question if you see the fourth question is a different item where we need to understand how to deal with the adjustments if you see the question number four the provisional profit and loss account 
of a bank showed a profit of 10 lakhs. Subsequently, the following matters were discovered. Provisional in the sense, it is not a complete profit and loss account. What do you mean by provisional? Comple not complete, right? So we did not consider all the facts. It is not a complete, it is not a final one actually. It is not a final one. Still corrections and uh, what we call uh, rectifications will take place. That's the reason why we are calling it as a provisional, right? It is not final. So like you will get provisional certificate for intermediate and 10th, right? So what is that provisional? It is a basic and time period certificate. It is not a final. Final certificate will be issued later by the uh, boards, right? So that's the reason we call it as a provisional, not final, it refers to. So subsequently following matters were discovered. Interest and doubtful debts, 10,000, was debited to loan account and credited to interest account. See, what is happening here, interest and doubtful debts, for primarily the loan itself is doubtful. We are not having surety of getting that money, right? So on that amount we calculated the interest, 10,000, was debited to loan account, increased the loan and credited to interest account, right? When we are not in a position to recover the original principal amount, do we can recover the interest? Of course not. So in such a case, these items will come under NPA, non-performing asset. It should not be taken in interest and discount. So what we have to do, we need to deduct this 10,000, which is already included in interest. When it is included in interest, our profit is increased, no? So what we have to do, we have to minus this 10,000 from 10 lakh. This, out of 10,000, 10 lakhs, we need to deduct this 10,000. Here, next, a non-banking asset appearing in the books 50,000 was sold for 60,000. So when we sold off, we earned a profit of 10,000. Where it will be returned? It will be returned in other incomes. That is schedule 14. Remember, the amount was credited to non-banking asset account. So it is wrong. It cannot be credited to non-banking asset account. It should be credited to other income account here. Right. So this income is not included in our profit. Hence, this 50,000 minus 60,000, 10,000 profit that is difference should be added again. First 10,000 will be deducted. Second 10,000 will be added. Because this profit we did not consider. Whereas earlier, this interest, though it is not an income, we considered it. So we need to deduct this second item, second part should be added. Rebate on discount, this discount 5,000 was taken into account. Ascertain the true profit. So no, it was not taken into account. In the sense what? This is closing rebate. In, down the line, in this session itself, we'll understand the concept of rebate even. But this closing rebate should be deducted always. From which item? From Schedule 13. Under that interest and discount, we need to deduct this closing rebate. Right? So what we have to do? We have to take this 10,000 10 lakhs. This we need to deduct 10,000. We need to add this profit that is difference 10,000. We need to deduct this 5,000. Like that, if you do the uh, corrections, then you will get the correct profit. So that we need to calculate. calculate calculation of profit. So I made a heading here. Then first we take balance as per provisional profit and loss account. Provisional profit and loss account given as a balance of rupees how much? That is 10 lakhs. That we have taken. Right? Next. Profit on sale of non-banking asset. This profit on sale of non-banking asset regarding 10,000, what did we say just now? It will be added. So what we have to do, it will be added to the what? Provisional profit and loss account balance. 10,000 will be added to 10 lakhs because it is not, it was wrongly credited to non-banking asset account. Next. Interest on doubtful debts. First item we have discussed. What did I say? It should be deducted because it is a wrong calculation. So that's the reason why I take I took 10,000 and kept in bracket C. Bracket is refers to it as a negative symbol. Minus item. So next, rebate on closing rebate on bills discounted. How much? 5,000. The same will even deduct it. So once you deduct these two, then your answer is 
नाइन लैख नाइंटी फाइव थाउजेंड विल बी द आंसर आम आई क्लियर सो दिस इज द वे यू नीड टू डू द रेक्टिफिकेशन बिकॉज ऑल दिस वी आर लर्निंग फॉर द सेक ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग द लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन राइट सो सो फार आई मेड यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस क्वेश्चन वी विल प्रोसीड विद